Hello. I am just making a video as there have been a fundraiser for the innocent Sikh family who was shot down with more than 30 bullets by unidentified people on November 20, 2023 when they were preparing to go to sleep in their rented house in Caledon, Ontario, on the border of Brampton, Canada. Funds from this fundraiser campaign will be deposited into the account of this family's son, Jasper Singh, name changed due to security reasons. This story is horrifying, terrible and real. The couple in the cover picture of this GoFundMe campaign is Jagtar Singh and Harbhajan Kaur. They lived happily in their rented portion of a house on Mayfield Road along with their children, son Jasper Singh and daughter Amandeep Kaur, name changed due to security reasons. In order to cut rental costs, they shared this house along with some close friends of their son, Jasper Singh. Jasper Singh and his sister came as students in Canada a few years ago and had now sponsored their parents as visitors so that they all can spend some quality time together. They were a hard-working, religious Gursik family, all members of the family were Amritthari. Both children worked hard while their mom cooked meals for them and they all visited the Sikh temple on a regular basis. On November 20, 2023, at around 11.30 p.m., unknown armed people stormed into their house and killed 57-year-old Jagtar Singh on the spot. Showing extreme cruelty, they shot 55-year-old Harbhajan Kaur with more than 20 bullets, the old lady underwent numerous surgeries after this horrible incident as bullets damaged her stomach, uterus, intestine, leg, diaphragm, kidneys and lungs. She ultimately lost the battle of life after suffering for 13 days in hospital. The butchers didn't stop there, they shot the daughter of this family with more than 11 bullets and left her fighting between life and death. Deeply traumatized and severely wounded, she has not spoken a word since the incident has happened, doctors say they are unsure of whether she will be able to speak ever or no. She is still in critical condition. Jasper Singh and his friends were out on work that night and came home only to know that the entire family has been destroyed. They were common people like you and me and the couple was planning to marry both children soon. Police are saying that this is an act of mistaken identity and killers misidentified the victims for someone else. Whatever has happened cannot be fixed now, a young boy has lost his father and mother, and his sister is critically injured. Doctors say if she survives, she won't be able to recover for a very very long period of time. We cannot bring back his parents, but we can provide some relief to him by raising funds required at this time. He will be in need of a lot of money to pay for the medical bills of his mother as she was a visitor in Canada. Also, taking into account his sister's current condition, she cannot work for a long time from now. We are considering that the boy himself will not be able to work in near future after such a traumatic incident because he has to take care of his sister as well as he has to get out of trauma himself. His father was cremated on November 26. His mother's funeral is to be held in a few days. In order to pay for the hospital bills and funeral costs, a lot of funds will be required. Keeping in mind that there is no more working member left in the family currently due to this incident, we as a community should come forward and help him as much as we can so that he can take care of his sister and try to live a normal life which seems impossible at the moment. Please consider that this was a totally innocent family who was destroyed and life will never be the same for the survivors. We request you to please put yourself in his shoes for a brief moment and experience what this boy is going through currently. Please, please come forward and donate as much as you can so that we could make his remaining life a little bit less difficult. Please share this fundraiser campaign with as much people as you can and request them to share it too. Thank you so much for your support in advance. Thanks.